You get 86,400 seconds every single day. And guess what? All it comes down to how you choose to spend yours. Whether you use them productively or waste them, that's your choice. How many times do you go through the course of the day and realize that you didn't do anything you should have done? You obviously spend that time somewhere, but it wasn't on the things you wanted to. Instead of trying to find another technique to make you more productive, you should look into which habits you are currently wasting so much time on. Sometimes to achieve success is not what you do that matters, but what you stop doing. Today I will talk about four time wasters that by avoiding you could have more time for the things that actually matter. Number one, playing video games. Gaming is one of the most lovable pastimes in the modern world, but a lot of people spending playing way too much time playing. One hour there, two hours there, the time doesn't disappear. Where does it go? Who knows? Not into anything productive, that's for sure. For the time that you are putting into a video game, how much are you getting back out of it? Sure, you are getting temporary pleasure, but what about real and lasting enjoyment? You know the type of enjoyment that comes from accomplishing real life goals. There's nothing worse than putting a ton of time into something and having nothing to show for it. Will having the best gear in the game benefit you in any ways in 5 years? Probably not. Number 2. Watching TV While many people will argue that a little bit of TV never hurt anyone, amount of a little bit is constantly in debate. Nelson report found that the average American watches more than 34 hours of television each week. That's almost a full work week. Imagine if you spent a fraction of the time working on your goals, you would be making so much progress. No one ever accomplished anything but by just sitting on the couch. Besides being an abused time, sink risk has shown that heavy TV viewers report lower life satisfaction and higher anxiety. Television messes with our understanding of reality. It's full with beautiful people doing interesting things and having great adventures. Every so. Life is never going to be like a TV series and this can make people very disillusioned about how their lives should look. This leads to a feeling of Ad inadequacy and emptiness when compared to the never-ending adventurous of the TV world. And here we are still telling ourselves just one more episode, I'm done. Number 3. Surfing the Internet Let's take a look of a scenario that is all too common in today's world. It's 4 p.m. Mike just got back from his college lecture and he decides that he wants to study for the exam that's ahead. He's feeling motivated so he sits down with a giant textbook he's reading on the topic but then he doesn't quite understand what the second chapter is all about. So Mike decides to search for additional resources on the internet. He opens a Wikipedia page and finds the info he was looking for. Since he is already there, he decides to quickly check his emails before going back to studying. Suddenly, it's 9 p.m. and 5 hours have passed since Mike decided to study. And yet, he didn't progress further than the second chapter and he's still on the internet. Internet is a trap that everyone falls into from one time to time. This designed to keep our attention for hours on end. You might feel like you are going to miss out if you don't check the article about it. It was to lose belly fat or watch a video about four bad habits you must avoid. This is exactly what happened to Mike. After he checked his email, he thought it might be a good idea to quickly check Facebook as well. Then he turned, then he got an argue to check the front page of Reddit and YouTube. Since he didn't want to miss anything important, he kept on surfing. By this time, Mike was already sucked into the internet black hole. Internet is a great tool when used correctly, 
but when it's done mindlessly it can be your greatest enemy the fourth and final habit to quit is scrolling through social media while social media is uh, also one of the best tool to stay updated on the latest industry news and catch up with friends or family it's another huge time waster in fact we spend an average of 2 hours per day on social media unless you are a social media manager there's no need for you to spend that much time on there just like tv social media and damaging has damaging consequences and on our me- mental health it's been linked to higher level of loneliness and depression after all and that's not a surprise because most people on social platforms trying to portray their lives as perfect leaving you to feel inadequate not many people wants other to know they are feeling down so the only thing we see on our new feeds on the highlights of the people's day and often we make this mistake and think that their life look like that all the time but remember behind the scenes their lives could be a way worse than yours even if it might look perfect in that one photo and that pretty much sums up up so a little clarification about my list you may consider my activity i mentioned as joyful and exciting it may be important to you you may be doing it with purpose and intention rather than the force of an old habit you can't shake if that's you feel how you feel then it's not a waste of time however you want to limit yourself to a certain degree when going these activities so you g- don't get sucked up you might enjoy video games and you don't really want to quit playing them that's fine but set a limit to how much time you are going to spend on it if someone asks you what did you do today and you literally don't know where your time went because you spent an entire day in front of a screen then it's time to reflect and take a look at your priorities do you agree or disagree with my list would you add anything to it let me know in the comments below i read them well keep on improving so you can be better than yesterday